Today we're going to be looking at consonant patterns K N W R G N M B I F. Sometimes letters can be silent when they are in certain consonant patterns. Look at this chart, read or decode the example words aloud. So first we have K N K N. So we're looking at the letter K. So our first example is the word no. I'm gonna underline the letter K. I do not hear the letter K in the word no. Let's move on to the next one. So W is going to be silent in WR. So when I have W and R next to each other, I will not sound out the W. For example, the W in right is not pronounced w right. It is just right. The next letter is G when I have G and N next to each other, just like I do here in the first word and in the second word. So the first word is nat and the second word is sign. Next we're going to be looking at B, N, M, B. So when I have B following M, I will not pronounce that word. I will not sound it out. So for example, in the word thumb, I do not sound out that B in thumb. The next one is L, N, L, F. So every time I have an F following an L, I will not sound out the letter L. So this word is pronounced half. Next, it says, read these sentences with a partner. Tell which consonants are silent. Remember, it says consonants. These are your consonants up here that you're going to be looking at. Then choose one of the words and use it in a sentence. Share your sentence with your partner. So you're going to look at the first two sentences. I will do the first one. It says, I knew the word on the sign was wrong. So I'm going to go back. Do I see any of the consonants that we talked about in the beginning? So our first one is K and K-N. Oh, I found one in the word new. Then, let's see if I have a W next to WR. Yep. I knew the word on the sign was wrong. I have a WR in the word wrong. Next, I have a G next to a GN in the word sign. I don't have the B next to the MB and the L next to the F. I do not have that either. So we just had three consonants that were silent. So I'm going to write three silent. So you will do this one by yourself and then you will choose then you will choose one of the words and use it in a sentence. And I want you to write that here. Or if you're doing another sheet of paper, you may also do that. Remember, these are right here, what you can use to look for your silent consonants, just like it says right there. These are all your silent letters. And don't forget to submit your assignment when you are finished.